the morphing grid. Mysterious as it is expansive, able to be harnessed by many across the universe. But what is the morphing grid exactly? Who has really tried to give a detailed examination of it? As far as I'm aware, nobody. Well, here I am, ready to give my best theory on the physical properties of the very roots of the power used by many a teenager, etc. So for starters, I'll do my best to explain the power coins of the movie, which will in turn explain the power coins of Mighty Morphin, which will in turn also explain the Zeo crystals of Zeo, Turbo Keys of Turbo, Quasar Sabers of Lost Galaxy, Wild Crystals of Wild Force, Ninja Discs of Ninja Storm, Dino Gems of Dino Thunder, Inner Gems of Dino Charge, <clears throat> Ninja Power Stars of Ninja Steel. So, they may be made of a material that conducts Morphin Grid energy with Atarian circuitry embedded into them. The different colors may be due to extracting energy from the Morphin Grid with putting pure Morphin Grid particles, as I also like to call MG particles, into one power coin could cause an overload, thus they must break it down, which produces different wavelengths of light from the morphing grid. I theorize that the black, being an absence of wavelengths, may come from negative morphing grid particles, which have the same effect as positive energy particles that produce wavelengths, but it well it does produce wavelengths. It just absorbs all, which may lead to producing a very short, tight wavelength, if you will, to simplify. Ultraviolet, hence black rangers tend to give a purple glow. They absorb all the wavelengths, but they do let out a little bit, which comes out in shorter, stronger wavelengths. Now. Any power coin that can handle pure positive energy particles without overload may likely result in a white power coin, which should make an extra strong Power Ranger. Now, a power coin that can handle nigh pure positive energy particles, but needs to have it slightly broken down, should result in producing the strongest wavelength, which would make a white Power Ranger with violet highlights, which would be not as strong as white Rangers, would more like as strong as the other basic color rangers. This may also occur in a way that would produce the yellow wavelength mixed with pure MG particles on the positive side, resulting in a gold power source. But producing pure positive MG particles that slightly break down can result in a silver power source. Now this brings me into my theory for morphing in general. The reason why you can see Power Rangers either flash morph or have the visually complex morph sequence may be due to them exiting our perception of space-time, then shifting to respective sections of the morphing grid's quantum vibrational frequency. Say like in Mighty Morphin, the Aquatar Rangers, Zeo, Turbo, Lightspeed Rescue, Wild Force, Mystic Force, Samurai, Dino Charge, and Ninja Steel, or halfway doing this but teleporting to focal points on Earth, or some interdimensional anomaly may bridge our realm with morphing grids, say like in Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, Jungle Fury, and Megaforce, and even in space regarding Solaris Knight and Super Megaforce, or maybe teleporting to a technological room of some sort where the MG particles are being conducted, say like in Space Patrol Delta and Operation Overdrive or into the frequency, but in a technologically controlled format, using a morphing grid friendly computer program. In space, the season, time force, and race performance machines, RPM. Now this brings me to my theory on the reason why Power Rangers have different suits throughout all teams, and why they seem to morph in different sections, though they all use the morphing grid. I suggest their morphers needs to be built differently and include different settings to ensure that distribution of energy particles aren't strained, lest it may lead to overload across all morphers. 
you know, or something like that. Now that's basically it. That's all I can come up with at the moment. Like I said before, the reason I made this video was because I'm the so far the best thing I've ever seen on YouTube are science fiction science explanations. So far I haven't seen much with Star Wars, but I've seen some things. Um, Marvel, DC, Mario, across a number of different channels like K-Life, the science behind superheroes. Yeah, that's a great channel. I, I love, I'm glad I subscribed to him. Uh, Nerdist has Kyle Hill, you know, because science is also great. There's also the Imaginary Axis. I subscribe to him. Also great. Are any females doing this? I hope so. Uh, I don't know. I haven't found any. Anywho, uh, there's also Vsauce 3. He's he's also he's done stuff with uh, Godzilla. And one the main thing I know is between most of them, pretty much except for K Life. No Power Rangers anything. Now K Life does have a video about how Power Rangers morph. And that's what inspired me to do this video. Or at least it helped. Him and I'm sorry I forget the other YouTuber, YouTuber's name. He, he did a collaboration with for that video. Great explanation. You know, you know, on that comes to uh, quantum teleportation and stuff. So I, I just wanted to help make a change, if you will. Kind of see if I can inspire. <laughs> I don't know inspire the possibility of more scientific videos on Power Rangers because there's science you can do on the Zords I mean it's kind of like obvious on how that can happen you know uh, giant machines be it vehicles or animal war machines but powered by morphing grid particles but there's also the case of like explaining the wild Zords they're See, they seem to be organisms, biomechanical, and we don't know where they came from. And, and or even say in the movie, the Zords, they, they are an extraterrestrial race. They came to Earth and took the form of the most powerful creatures at the time. Even though the Tyrannosaurus, Pterodactyl, Triceratops weren't alive at the same time as Mastodons and saber-tooth cats. So. It's confusing I where are they from though how can they uh, how are they morphological beings I wanted I, I just wanted more on that in the movie itself it didn't have to be a big explanation just say they're from the planet Eltar and they're organisms that evolved from Eltar I don't know something but yeah I, I just wanted Power Rangers to get more of a scientific shine you know I'm such a Power Rangers fan that I felt slightly jealous. No matter how much I loved seeing all the explanations for Superman, uh, Batman, X-Men, Cyclops, Captain America, Star Wars, Godzilla. Still have yet to see anything on Beast Boy. I would love to see something for Beast Boy because that can help me think about Animorphs. Uh, you know, what exactly are they doing when they morph? Animorphs. Animorphin time. There has to be some fan art with Animorphs as Power Rangers, isn't there? I mean, I can understand it's Mighty Morphin, you know, animals, but I think they'd fit Wild Force better. Like that kind of style. Anywho, uh, also, science on Transformers. I don't think I've ever seen anything on the Transformers. Yeah, I think I... I don't know, I have to look it up again. Oh, the Hulk. Also him. But also... Or Dragon Ball Z. That's another thing. See what I'm saying? All these things I'm mentioning... I'm not seeing the things that... Could could really use some sign splinations, if you will. Jack and Daxter is another good example. For something that could use it. Sly Cooper. To, to a degree. 
Like, what would it take for anthropological, an anthrop anthropomorphic animals to exist like they do in Sly Cooper? Uh, what is the eco power in in uh, Jack and Daxter games? You know, the red, the green, the yellow, the blue, the dark. I think there's white too. I only played one of the games. I didn't want it to be that way. But anywho, Ratchet and Clank, you know good and well the weapons in Ratchet and Clank could use some science explanations to some degree. I still want to see some of Mandarin's rings too. There's nothing on that apparently because no one wants to put Mandarin in anything anymore. Marf from, from Marvel stuff. Also, War of the Monsters. Of course, obscure as frick video game. I'm one. Of, I'm the only person who I know of who's really vocalized. I, I'm one of ten people I know of, or eleven, who's vocalized being a fan of War of the Monsters. 2003 Kaiju Mecha Beat 'Em Up. Think Rampage's Descendant, but I think done better than Rampage. It's a uh, it, it, it was the bomb diggity if you were to scientifically try to explain um, what is in that fuel that caused all these things to happen to the Congar especially Kineticlops you know a uh, human mixed with electricity powering uh, machines like Ultra V Robo 47 what made Praetor grow like that like how how what exactly you make her body grow like that? Increase of cell growth and production. Uh, you know, magma bring volcanic material to life. A gamma bring stone and fire to life. It has has anything to do with being touched by the the tribes people who touched his body a lot? Well, those bodies mostly underground, kind of like the whole. Easter Island heads thing. Uh, bringing an old uh, dinosaur to life, back to life, or waking him up for that matter, like Togira or Raptros. You can do a lot with these things if you really put your mind to it and you got science behind it if you're a fan of these things. But as I see, not enough people are a fan of those things for. Uh, science explanation to come for the games that I just mentioned. Like, you, you're gonna get a scientific explanation to some degree in relation to Mass Effect, Bioshock, Halo, a little bit of Mortal Kombat, like I said, Mario. Has anything been done on Zelda? Uh, I don't know. Has anything been done on Doom? Any? I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. A lot of recent games. Minecraft even. I've seen some on that. But I see that's because things are happening now with those games. Not really getting anything with Jack and Daxter now. That's on Sly Cooper now. Ratchet and Clank had a movie that just didn't do well enough. It's so sad. So sad. Messed up the whole Sly Cooper movie's chances because we need to make money for that. Whew. Jack and Daxter. Nothing really happened with that. I think I just mentioned that. War of the Monsters wasn't allowed to get a, a sequel, which a lot of people actually want. If you play that game enough and you like it, yeah, you're going to want a sequel. A lot of people want a sequel to that. Um, my prolonged... Oh, I've also seen signs of Luke Cage. Uh, there's technically just as much as you can do with Captain America regarding Luke Cage, but 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 those same people wouldn't want to do say like the science of why the morphing grid makes teenagers and whatnot stronger you know nothing on that and i i just hope that changes because i know there are those who can do it better than i can so if uh you can like this video if you like it comment if you want to comment and uh nothing left to say. Thank you for watching and have a good day.